we're taking a look at the Marmot Tungsten one-person backpacking tent. This is the perfect tent for someone who's going out into the backcountry, wants a tent that's roomy enough that can sprawl out. Um, it's really streamlined and simple, and we'll go through all the features. The pole structure here is really simple. You've got two poles that cross over each other. These are very durable but lightweight DAC press fit aluminum poles. And you'll notice that the front part of the tent with the door, um, the part of the pole that attaches to the grommets is actually bent a little bit. And that section of pole is the gray part. Um, this little bent knee on either side actually provides a little bit more interior space than you would have with a typical A-frame style tent. So these poles provide a little bit more space here in the front. So this front panel of the tent is actually a little bit more vertical, which is nice for you know one person. You can have yourself and your gear inside the tent and it just makes the livability of the tent a little bit better and a little bit more roomy. If you look at the fabrics here, you've got mostly mesh here in the upper part of the tent that keeps the weight of the tent down and provides a lot of breathability. So this is a three season tent, not meant for the coldest of temperatures. Down here, you've got um, a nylon material and that is just to prevent from splashes and things like that to you know, give a little bit of protection there. And then you've got a fully seam taped, waterproof, durable floor there. So you can see the front of this tent comes up a little bit. You've got kind of a cantonary cut in this tent. So that keeps um, this seam of the tent off of the, off of the ground. And that is just good for um, not bringing in water through that seam. So this seam isn't gonna come in, into contact with the ground and that's intentional. It's a really great feature. Um, it's really simple, but it does uh, provide a lot of protection. Along with the simple design of the poles, you have clips on this tent, which make it really easy to set up. Uh, you don't have to fumble with sleeves or anything like that. So you just um, use these clips to attach the poles to the tent. And uh, here on the door, you have a really open D-shaped door, really easy in and out of the tent. You can roll that door back. And you've got some interior storage here. You have a nice pocket uh, to the side where you can store things you wanna get your hands on quickly. There are attachment points here in the top of the tent. You could hang a light or you could hang gear that you want above you. And you have a really convenient little pocket right here up at the head of the tent. That'd be right above your head as you're sleeping in the tent. And this is a material that diffuses light from your headlamp. So it's really convenient. Put your headlamp in there and you get a really nice um, even light throughout the tent. The interior of the tent here is 84 inches long by 36 inches wide. So you definitely have enough room in here. Um, a typical sleeping mat is around 20 inches wide, 25 inches wide. So you have 36 inches here from side to side, enough room for your shoulders. And as I'm sitting up here in the tent, you can see how much room I have above my head. So you definitely have enough room here. And I lay down here, um, my feet aren't hitting the side walls of the tent. And as well with this um, bent knees of the poles here, you have enough room above your head that you're not gonna be running into the side walls of the tent. So this is, you know, a small one person backpacking tent, but you definitely have enough room for one person and your gear. Marmot makes pitching the tent and setting up the rainfly really easy. So what they have is color-coded clips. And what I normally do with the rainfly is I find one of the corners that has a, a piece of red webbing. So right there, we've got that little red tab and that tells me that I need to align this clip with one of the clips on the tent body that has a little red tab. So it makes it really simple to orient the rainfly the right way every time. After we've got the rainfly completely set up, you can see that this is a full coverage rainfly, meaning that all corners of the tent are protected from the rainfly. It comes all the way down to the ground and you'll be protected from the elements completely. So this is a 68D polyester fabric 
a lot of durability there and all of the seams are completely taped. So you've got waterproof material here. Again, a lot of protection from the elements. And you've got one door with this tent, so you have one vestibule right on the front. It's certainly big enough to store all of the gear you need for one person. And we'll just talk about some of the features of the Rainfly. Um, you do have a nice breathability, nice vent right here. You can actually access that from the inside of the tent. So if you need to just vent a little bit, um, if you're in a light rain and you just need extra ventilation, um, you can use this vent here. Or if it's really raining hard and you need to close that from the inside, it's really easy to do that. Gives you a nice coverage there. The zipper for the door is right on the front here. You have a really great storm flap in front of that zipper, so that's gonna protect you. And something I really like about this zipper on the vestibule is you have a zipper coming from both sides. So if you want to, you can even vent this from the top. Again, if you have a light rain and you just need more ventilation, if it's pretty uh, warm outside, you can vent this here from the top and you still have that gutter there to protect you from the rain. If I open up this big door, um, you can see how big the vestibule is and how easy it is to get in and out of the tent. I've got the vestibule door rolled back there. Um, you can see that breathable mesh that's on the inside of the tent. And this is gonna give you a lot of cross ventilation. So on the other side of this rain fly, there's not another vestibule, another door, but you can stake out the other side so that you have a cross breeze or cross ventilation. You can also roll back this side of the door so you have a little toggle point on the other side. You can roll back and really have a lot of ventilation there. Couple things to point out on the Rainfly. There are reflective guy out points. You've got four guy out points here on the top, so you can really stake those out when it's windy. Today, a nice sunny day with no wind. I don't need to stake those out with this freestanding tent, but um, really convenient guy out lines there. And then there, there's a couple other points on this tent that you can stake out. They don't give you enough stakes and enough guy out points to do every single point, but they give you enough to pitch this tent really well. So really great features on that rain fly. A footprint is included with this tent and it's a custom fit footprint. It fits right with the grommets on the body of the tent. That adds a lot of value to this already value conscious tent. And that's just gonna give more durability to the floor of this tent and also protect from groundwater. So with all of the durable features, you've got full coverage rain fly, durable DAC poles at a relatively light weight. This is the perfect camping and backpacking tent for one camper who's looking for a tent to give them full coverage in the backcountry. It's the Marmot Tungsten One Person Tent.